My name is Terry Brown. I'm chairman of Basingstoke Town Community Football Club, a community club run by volunteers for the benefit of the community. We were formed to save our football club and maintain our academy, maintain our 10 youth sides and the work, the important work we do in our schools. We have been evicted from the Camrose Stadium, our home for 70 years, by the club's previous millionaire owner who purchased our ground to build houses on and to make himself even richer. Our home fixtures last season, we played at Winchester. We had no revenue streams. It cost us over 600 pounds per game for a home fixture. We have to pay for everything. The only revenue created is by our magnificent supporters via gate money, 50-50 tickets, golden gold tickets, player sponsorship, 200 clubs, Christmas raffle, and our clubhouse raffle that raised 16,000 pounds to bring us back home. Our project is to revamp an underused community hall, supplying new kitchen and toilet facilities, painting, plastering, and decorating both inside and out the building, bringing a community facility back to life, allowing our football club to come back home. We have to have a clubhouse to meet the Southern League's ground grading. This project will, re will reward our supporters and allow them to celebrate our 125th anniversary this year back in Basingstoke. So here's James Royston, a loyal fan, who can tell you what it means to the fans. Hi, my name is James Royston. I am a season ticket holder and member of Basingstoke Town Football Club. And it's a real privilege to be asked to say a few words about what it would mean for us to potentially win the build base transfer deal. I think first it goes without saying that for any club winning 25,000 pounds would be, it would be life changing. Um, but for us, it's more than that. For us, it's a lifeline and it's an opportunity to bring football back into our community. We, we've we really suffered um, as, as fans, as a club, as a community around the mismanagement uh, of our football club in recent years. That That's changed. Um, we now have a new dorm. We are now a community owned club um, run by the community and for the benefit of the community. But we need to get back playing football in Basingstoke. Our home was taken away from us by our former owner. So last season we had to play half an hour away in Winchester, which it's difficult for me. It's, it's inconvenient for me to drive to, to Winchester for, for, for games every other weekend, but for some of our fans, it's not difficult, it's impossible. For some of our older fans, for our more vulnerable fans, for children, for our disabled community, it, it meant they lost a season of football because of someone else's decision to make us homeless and not just make us homeless, but as a football fan, as, a, as football fans, we've had to sit and watch the Camrose, our historic home, not just being destroyed, but being sold piece by piece. And that is, that is a dark, dark experience. And the sense of optimism that now exists around a community club, around an opportunity to bring football back into Basingstoke, it's, it's, it's vibrant. You, you can, you can sense the excitement of people really wanting, you know, even with everything going on at the moment, really wanting football back in our town. And that could be so much more, uh, could be delivered so much more quickly with the support of Build Base and winning that 25,000 pounds. It really would mean 
Our Town United. 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 Our Town United.